advanced trading methods of master traders, order flow breakouts that lead price and a lot more. Uh, Steve had contacted me a while back and he said that he had something really incredible that he wanted to share for this webinar. He's been working on this for weeks and we're super excited to bring it to you. Um, in my career as a trader, there have been two basic principles that made it possible for me to be successful. One is that order flow leads price. Order flow leads price. Now, back in the early days, I used to do this on daily charts with New York Stock Exchange advancers, decliners. Uh, that was back before everybody uh, knew to use such things, yeah? Uh, these days, uh, it's a little different because information that's generally available uh, if it can be exploited, it will be exploited because there's a lot of super smart uh, people out there uh, that uh, take these kinds of things and use really good tools and they're super brilliant people and they're well capitalized. And so it's important to understand uh, these concepts, order flow breakouts that lead price. Also, another thing, particularly that term breakout that leads price, particularly uh, relates to the point at which it's happening. Yeah, the point at which it's happening. And so Steve's going to share some of that with you today. Uh, the other uh, method that uh, made it possible for me to make a career as a trader was that cycle expansion begets range expansion. And we've done webinars on that in the past. Um, so without further delay, I would like to uh, mention a couple things about Steve. Uh, when I met Steve, he came into my trading room and began doing all kinds of uh, research and uh, reporting his uh, results in the room. And I, I realized in a short period of time that this was no ordinary uh, person. Steve is unrelenting in his exploration of uh, trading and, um, and refinement. He's devoted his life to it over the years. And on top of that, he's a really good teacher. He has a wonderful way of explaining things in simple terms that are easy to understand that I really appreciate. Yeah. And so uh, without any further delay, guys, uh, here's Steve for the webinar today, trading order flow breakouts that lead price and some more. So stay tuned to the end. All right. There you go, Steve. Thank you. Thank, th <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Looks like my sound is good. Somebody give me a thumbs up, please, on the sound. Or let me make sure that I'm not talking to myself. Groovy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, welcome. We're glad good afternoon or evening or morning. We have people from all over the globe here. Uh, this will be the most simple, this will be the simplest, most concise presentation I've ever done. Uh, we uh, uh, are not a one-trick pony. I say that all the time. Um, but the more concise we get with an idea, the more we expand that into uh, more winning uh, trades in market entries and things like that. And I'll share that with you. Rob, uh, um, a note about the work ethic. Um, I, <laughs> I appreciate you so much. I had no out. I was an uh, aging golf professional and I had no out. This got me out. I had to make it work. I didn't have a choice. So um, anyway, I, you know, y'all don't know what Rob does behind the scenes. You don't know how hard he works. You don't know the giving nature and supporting spirit he has. Um, but none of this would be possible. And we've got tons of people in a room that are enjoying success. None of it would be possible without Rob's continued work. He didn't have to work. <laughs> but he loves helping people and loves sharing. And we're going to share a simple idea with you today. And it'll make sense to some people, and it's awesome, and it won't to others, and we get that too. Uh, so let's just let's just go ahead. I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is make this legal. Read this if you never have, and we're going to go further. Uh, I'm going to go through this pretty fast because it's recorded, and it's really simple stuff. Do you want to know a secret? The Beatles made this famous in 62 with their uh, hit song right here, right now, today, in this moment, I'm going to share with you the greatest secret about trading. 
Although it's not really a secret. Y'all know this. Price follows order flow. Order flow leads price. Rob Mitchell, World Cup trading champion, started, as he said, working on order flow 30 years ago. And in the last, <clears throat> I don't know, six months, the industry has caught on and it's a pretty big deal. So uh, he's a bit ahead of most people with this. Uh, but this idea alone has made more day traders successful than all other trading concepts, approaches, and opinions combined. And the reason price will not, nay, it cannot move without new orders entering the market. Just can't do it. It won't. So if you don't have some sort of order flow reads built into your trading, uh, good luck with that. Um, order flow breakout. You know, this is the start of what we do. I've marked some reversal bars. You can do this on continuation bars. You can do it, you know, we, we have we have lots that I can't share today. Um, I'm going to do three simple ideas today and we're going to be done. I'm about halfway through already. But what you'll see is these green and red arrows are just marked. I should have a red arrow there, but I don't. Are just marking order flow breakouts. Okay. And you can decide, you know, just alone is that representative of a uh, of an idea <clears throat> that would improve your trading. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know how well your trading is going. Uh, most people, when they come in a room and they realize the power of this, they go, hmm, okie dokie. So that's what, this is order flow. Now, I say this is simple, and it really is. You see this orange line going through the red, this horizontal red line, we call that smart, smart breakpoint lead out. This is uh, smart breakpoints, that's a lead out. Now, Trap Trader, Oscillator, Rob's worked on for 30, 25, 30 years. I don't know how long, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. He's refined it four or five times. I do know he went through an 18-month period that he worked on it pretty much every day to get it live so we can read it as the bars are forming. So we don't wonder if this situation is present or not. We know before the bar prints. So we're in front of order flow breakout, which is in front of price movement. So when I say this is simple, our our task is crazy simple. You know, find these things and trade them. Rob has spent 30, 30 years working on this and making it very simple for us. So that's what that looks like. Do you want to know a secret? You promise not to tell. Rob Mitchell learned very early that building order flow <clears throat> was the key to the concept in uh, making any trading strategy work. Now he's work refined, tested, traded, refined, tested, work, traded uh, with Trap Trader Oscillator giving us tools to get in front of future price movement. We'll show you most of the time. We've developed several market entry signals, way too many to cover today, that use this concept. Now, Rob, you'll understand this. The more precise we get with order flow breakouts, the more entries we're getting, the more winning entries we're getting. I thought it would go the other way. I thought it would filter out, but it's actually adding to the enormous number of winning market entries that we have found. So if we can get in front of uh, order flow breakout, we can get in front of future price movement most of the time. Now, here's another concept I'll share with you. Price does follow order flow, but it also trades away from support and resistance. Nobody doubts that. Nobody, that's undisputed. Markets trade away from support and resistance. So what if we could locate areas of order flow, support, and resistance, and then traded breakouts of this order flow away from support and resistance before prices responded? That sounds like a lot, but it's really not, okay? It really isn't. So what we have here, and I'll go through a little bit of detail, but y'all, most of y'all seen this. This is a new algorithm that's been written that... Um, we're in uh, accumulation when we're green and distribution when we're red. And then we use that to guide which direction we're looking. But basically, the brouhaha has started because of this. 
we get this lead out when every when this is green. Mm -hmm. We get this lead out when this is green. Okay. We'll show you some cells. Now understand this. This algo took about a year. There were 20 or 25 different combinations that we looked at. Trap trader isolator has been developed for over 20 years. Yeah, I think, well, this is too simple to work. <laughs> yeah, it really isn't, y'all. It's been years, decades in putting this together and bringing it to you. So a uh, good system to better. The smart price band, TTO, Trap Trader Isolator, Advanced Smart Price Band Leadout Signal, what I just showed you. It's a great place to start when you're building a winning awareness of how markets perform. Once we get a feel for market performance, winning traders are normally super consistent, struggling traders are, not, traders are notoriously inconsistent. Once we get consistent, once we start doing the same thing, now this is performance, this is the psychology of um, high achievement. Once we get consistently tracking something, our habits become crystal clear and our vision becomes very clear. If I'm looking at three or four different things, it's always going to be fuzzy. But once I get a concept, okay, market's going to go up, accumulate, going to go up, accumulate, you know, that type of thing. Once we start to see that and we get a feel for that, and that's the only thing we're looking for, you will start to see things as they happen. And in a holy grail of trading, you'll see things before they happen. So master traders are always trading with the idea of being in front of future price movement. The other side tends to chase price. And these traders are almost always late to the party and need super large abnormal market movements to succeed. So can we take this idea and make it better? So here's what we've done. Now I'm almost through y'all. We're going to go through some charts and that's going to be it. See, we, we've shown evidence that order flow does indeed have support and resistance. And we've shared how finding these key points can totally transform all of our chances of being successful in trading. No one disputes that market structure can reveal key levels of structure, support, and resistance. Now, this is maybe my favorite subject, and I would love to teach this here, but I can't. We talk about it in the room continuously. But this is how this market structure, support, and resistance is universally how the large accounts got large and stay large, and while the small accounts stay smaller, disappear. So that's been traded for generations, eons, and we watch this every day. Now, this order flow, support and resistance, is relatively new to us. It's new to the industry. And so we're going to add that to the mix. And so what we have is we have market structure supporting the market and order flow breakouts that give us precise entries. And again, I'll show you how that looks on a chart in a minute. Since markets trade away from support and resistance most of the time and price follows order flow most of the time, if we, we can put those two together, what would we have? So I'm going to show you three different trading situations here. or Just a simple order flow breakout. Okay, that would be the generic starting of all of this. We're going to show you uh, support and resistance trading at support and resistance. We call these caps and straddles. You'll see why in a minute with order flow lead out. And then we'll show you our infamous or notorious Batman with order flow lead outs. And then other entries pivot retag with lead outs. My favorite. Maybe. I love it. With or without a lead out, with a rocket, with needle bar confirmation, we'll teach you all of that in the room. So we get one idea and we get three or four different ways to profit from that versus just the one. So four times or three times is better than one and take three or four of these with three or four ways to make it work. You're 12 or 15 times better than the average trading population.
Trap trader oscillator can get out of bounds and it can have a lead out. It can go through two. It can have a rocket. It can have, again, all of these. So, Rob, what I thought would happen is that I would get this and it would contract, but it's actually expanded the number of winning entries we have to offer. It's crazy what's going on. Four to eight, eight, uh, four to 12 tick TTO trap. We've traded this from day one. We've traded Batman from day one. I have members telling me they have netted thousands and thousands and thousands of points since we've opened a room with a Batman signal and this trap signal. So more and more and more, many, many more, the potential is almost unlimited. Uh, it's up to your ambition level as to how far you want to go with this. Once you understand the basic concept of what this is telling us, okay? So we'll go look at that. The first thing I have here is just simple reversal bar. Let me do this. This is today's chart. This is today's market action. Order flow breakout where order flows leading price. Okay, that was a pretty good spot. Michael tagged that for us. One of our new, not a new member, but uh, new back to the room, Michael tagged that and said, hey, look at that and look at that, away we go. So what do we do? Green background, order flow breakout. We are trading, once the algo turns it green, we tend to go up. Yeah, that's pretty good. A little bit of red waggle. We tend to go up again. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that works well. People say, well, that really works well in huge markets where you can get monster size wins. Yeah, it does work very good in chop. Yeah, that's why it took us a year to put it together, right? Okay, so all that is, that's an order flow breakout right there on today's chart. This uh, is, let me look at our time. Uh, yeah, okay. This is a couple of days in April and all of May so far. I don't have today in it. Didn't update it. So for one point, one, four ticks, one point, uh, the win rate uh, for these 100, 200, 6, 65 or so trades was 92%. Okay, for two points, it was 82%. And for five points, it's 63%. Okay, our profit factor, profit probability is 294. What that means is I, because I, I traded this, am 294% more likely to profit than lose taking this signal as it's set up here. No trail, no money management. You can do with that whatever you decide you want to do. We'll just show you what our research shows to be the most profitable. And then you can, you know, use that, adapt it, modify it, however it fits your needs. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm making, I want to make sure I say this the right way. Um, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, let's do this. Uh, we're going to show you signals and I'm going to show you, you know, weeks and months and years and decades and um, they may never win again. They may never lose again. This signal may never win again. It may never lose again. Uh, we've done this a long time and our numbers are, are our statistics are perfect. Uh, this doesn't represent a 100% win ratio. It represents a 92% win ratio. But they may never work again. So we're not saying we know the future, okay? Because we don't. We don't know the future any more than you do. But this is just the basic concept that we started all this with that started the, the really, really, uh, from my standpoint, unbelievable success uh, from our room and our members, okay? So um, that's just the simple breakout that I showed you, really easy to find. Takes about five minutes to learn this one. You know, we get this orange line and it's live. It's running through this before this bar prints. This orange line going through the red horizontal smart break point on a green background. So we're trading away from support. 
We're trading order flow breakout away from support. And this is how we get rewarded for it. Okay, questions on that? Let's go to the next sig yeah, signal. Um, we call this a cap and a straddle. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you. I don't know what I'll show you on today's chart. Uh, but what happens is this. The market is, uh, we're under accumulation. And we come down and we tag market. This is market. This is really highly advanced market structure support. And so we bounce off of it. We bounce off of it. And we finally get an order flow breakout. We get an order flow breakout at support. Well, 196 and 80, and again, this is for, uh, April was the most amazing month we've ever had. It was crazy. Um, it was like we were getting six or eight of these for, you know, big moves every day, large ranges. This is, uh, it is this good, y'all. This is good. That's 80% for uh, five points. 15 tick stop, no trail, anything. Uh, profit factor is hard to wrap your head around. 300 bucks a trade, win, lose, or draw. Um, doesn't, well, uh, anyway, any questions on that? We just, we come down and we tag this. We call this cap just because price is capped off by our uh, structure. This is support. Boom, you'll see this over and over and over throughout the market. And then we get a lead out. Okay, well, let's go that way, which we do. Okay, questions on that? All right. Uh, I'm going to do a little extra teaching. When I said more, this is some of the more stuff. Batmans. Uh, Batman with a lead out. A Batman is simply a red, green, red price congestion, local pattern, real tight pattern, red, green, red. And we look at trap trader oscillator, which is reading order flow. It says the selling pressure here is a whole lot stronger than here, right? So price is going this way, order flow is going down. Toby will tell you that typically goes that way. We're on a red background, we're trading Away from resistance, away from resistance. With massive order flow divergent, order flow support being broken. This was yesterday. This came in, yes, this is yesterday's chart. I think we have one today. I'll look, we'll look at that in a minute and we'll see. Okay, goes down. So let me talk about this for a minute. Here is structure. Here is Old school chart point support. You know, forget color, background color for a minute. You know, we're going up here. Breakout traders would trade this here. If I could move that, which I can't, there's another uh, green bar here. So structure breakout is here or here, right? Make sense? Structure over here, we get this high and we come off structure breakout is over in here. So structure breakout is down here. We get Order flow breakout up here, four point. We get a 16 tick discount to take that signal. Does that make sense? Y'all see that? I hope y'all see that. I hope y'all see the power behind this. Order flow breaks out here. Well, price doesn't break out. People watch price bars. You know what price forecasts, right? Nothing. <clears throat> Price forecasts nothing. It can't. Price can't forecast. It can't. Price can't predict itself, which is you know pretty simple concept. But here we have structure. You know here's structure. We break out there. We break out here. You can see the fighters. And away we go. We even have signals for this phenomenon. Okay. 
But anyway, this is critical, okay? We get order flow breakout here, so we're short here. The market starts breaking out here. I mean, we've got traders that have already gotten their five points and put it in a bag before we get in here. That's their that's their way. That's their method of trading. Uh, Ted, it's an algorithm that we spent us we spent about a year putting together. Okay, it's just a computer generated algo. Now, I'm I'm not spent a year. I spent we spent a lot of Rob spent twenty years. Spent a lot of time. Um, it, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Okay, questions on this? Uh, 90 for one, 90 for two, 62 for five, 378% more likely to win than lose. Now, let's talk about this for a second. Uh, we're not suggesting trade it this way, right? Some people like to scalp a point. They'll put 50 contracts on and get one point. Or put one contract, get one point. It doesn't matter. You know, whatever you can do, whatever whatever your capability is, start there. You know, start where you are. Let's get you understanding the market goes up, find sellers, it goes down. Let's get you understanding that first and foremost. Order flow breaks out and we head down. Okay. You can counter trend this. We have an order flow breakout here. We have a trap, right? And it goes that way. I don't have time to. I don't have time to go through that. Sorry about that. So questions here. Questions here. None. Okay. Um. Let me do this, and then I'm through. I'm like three minutes from three, Rob. And here's where we are, you know, this either makes sense or it doesn't, right? It either makes sense or it doesn't. Today's chart, we have this order flow lead out. It's a Batman wearing a cap that takes off on the open. We have this brilliant. This is my, this is the, 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 this is a really strong structure trade, right? We go red and we don't take that out. And we get an order flow breakout and you can see what that trade did, right? We go up and we go green and we get a breakout there and you can see what that one did, okay? The thing that we don't do is we don't chase single points within a congested market. We just, that, that's too hard to do, too hard to make that work. So here's some examples of exactly what we're teaching all happened in today. This is today's chart, okay? Today's chart. Discretionary or follow a trade plan. Now, this is critical, y'all. Um, whether you should follow a trading plan as it's tested or simply use it as a guideline, people will talk about that long after we're not here. Okay, this is my belief. If you're already profitable, and keep doing what you're doing. Use this to refine and add. We can make things better but it won't change the fact that you're a winning trader, right? If you're not yet there, here's the secret. Developing and following a proven winning trade plan is the quickest, easiest path to success. And now I'm gonna define the word success. It's not profit, although it is, and that's the way I define it. Success in this case is understanding how to trade discretionary years down the road if I want to do that, right? If I take one winning concept and I trade it, John Maxwell told me at a round of golf at Sitting Down Creek in Roswell, Georgia, Dr. John Maxwell, you can Google that, he's a cool guy. Um, he said, Steve, you get good at what you do. 
but you only get good at it if you do the exact same thing over and over and over. The more deviations you have in the beginning, the more confused you're going to be. So we talk about non-discretionary trading, not because we believe that's what everyone should do. Okay. That's what I do. But we don't believe everybody should do that. Okay. Jack Swagger said 90% of small account retail traders lose money because they're trying to guess where the market's going. And eventually, maybe, or, or early, we'll get there. You know, Rob's brilliant at teaching that. And I'm not as good because I don't have 30 years experience as World Cup trading champion. Right. But if you will follow, and, and it can be this, you know, this is pretty simple to follow. Rob's worked forever to make this the easiest system to look and see and follow that I've ever seen. And if you do it for a short period of time, the members in the room that have gone from struggling to winning will tell you, yeah, I may or may not tr follow it exactly but the only way I got there was that I had to create specific habits and then refine those. So the process of trading will teach you everything you need to do to become a winning trader. My background is golf instruction, golf industry, golf instruction at a pretty high level. If you're old enough, you've probably seen some of my guys and girls play on TV. Well, I didn't teach them. They didn't learn on a driving range. They didn't learn on a bu practice bunker. They didn't learn on a putting green. They trained themselves. They learned Thursday through Sunday inside the ropes. So the process of trading will teach you everything you need to become a winning trader. We often get that backwards. We often think I'm going to learn and then I'm going to apply it. And that makes sense. But that's why over 90% of people lose their money. It's backwards. So if you are successful, maybe there'll be some stuff in here that will make you more successful. If you're not doing this or something somewhere that you can and are willing to follow, let the process teach you how to win. Most people tell me it takes years to develop a feel for market action, price moving, and other factors. I, I don't know that that's true. Uh, I didn't have time. If you have time and that's the way you want to go, man, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant pastime. You know, to study the markets, they're fascinating. See, I didn't have the time. I had to make this work. And I knew I probably wouldn't invest years to hone my skills. So I had to choose a different path. It's not for everyone, but success can come very quickly this way. And if you want to end up being this type of trader, but you are this type of trader, then follow a plan and refine it. You'll start to see things you never dreamed of. Rob taught that. I learned that very early from Rob. Okay. So this is a process. It's a learning curve in following a plan and creating exact habits and then refining and building on those habits. It doesn't guarantee this, but it sort of does. It really doesn't. There are no guarantees, right? When the student's ready, the teacher arrives. If I tell you something, you're going to forget it. 96% of people, according to Harvard School of Psychology, 96% of people um, forget names, but remember faces. And there's a reason for this. The eyes are a part of the brain, so remember what you see. But if I tell you something, you're going to forget it. The reason I know that we've had people in the room for a long time, they go, oh, why didn't you say that years ago? And they go, oh, you have. Right. If I tell you you're going to forget it. If I teach you, you may remember it. If I involve you, then you become the teacher. You will grow yourself, change yourself, improve, and start to live. See, I'm a coach. I'm a trainer.
My specialty is going to be to help you train yourself to make the decisions. Hopefully, they're great winning trading decisions. That's my job. I'll teach you how to practice, how to study, right? How to stay on a proven path to success. One line. And then if you want to deviate, you know, once you master that and you've piled up a bunch of uh, uh, success <laughs> and you want to deviate from that, man, that's my job. That's what I do. We teach people to take control of their financial future. And I'm very proud of that. So I could discuss building winning habits here, and I probably know more than anybody you'll ever talk. I don't know about that, but I know a ton about that. But we do that. That's special members only training. Uh, we try to do one of these every month to six weeks. And um, and and we talk about that. How do, you, how do I train myself to make great decisions? Because that's the key. Second X Trading Room is about all aspects of being a winning trader. It starts with signals on a chart, but that's just the beginning. The trip, this journey is exhilarating. Unless what? Unless you lose and lose and lose. And I'll try this and I saw that and I read this. And let me try something else. And I've got stuff all over the place. And my brain is a mess. And I'm trying to make winning trading decisions with nine different ideas up there. Yeah, it's not going to work, yeah. It's exhilarating once you realize, okay, this is doable and I can do it. The journey's never ending. Rob's still working. He's still learning. I'm still learning. I've learned more probably in the past six weeks than any other given time, four to six weeks. Um, so anyway, um, Rob looks like he's taking care of questions. If you have anything specific for me, Go ahead and shoot. I don't look at those because, I, you know, we could spend, I'd spend two hours asking, answering questions. Uh, if you, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll address it this way. If you come to the room, you won't have any questions. If you don't, none of this matters because you won't have the stuff that's necessary. So I appreciate your time. I hope it's helped you move forward, whether you decide this is for you or not. I just hope you get some ideas and you go, hey, man, I'm going to, I'm going to trade better because of that. So I know this one's short. I told you it would be. Uh, any other questions? I'm just going to leave this here. This is the last. This is the last slide. Thanks, Steve. Oh, you you got it. <laughs> you want me to pick it up? Uh, yeah, I'm through. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks for presenting. That's awesome. Um, the basic, so some people are asking, oh, well, what's the signal? Well, the signal is the lead out. Yeah. The, the signal is the lead out where you see the, Steve, you could probably go back a couple and just show. Uh, basically, you're going to see the trap trader oscillator making an ABC pattern that's going to take out the prior when it breaks the line there. Yeah, right there, that uh, Batman right there. Go to the left a little bit, 930. Oh, you won't. where that little arrow is. Where the green one or the red one? Go down to the trap trader oscillator where that little arrow is, that little green arrow right there. Green one. Green one. I got you. Sorry. Well, you're moving it now, but you can. Well, this is what people are asking. What does it look like live? That's what it looks like. Yeah, live. it looks like that live. You're breaking the line and you're on the line. So there's two. This is a conditional probability is what it is. You're 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 on the line. You're responding to the line and you're breaking the line. That's just, that's it. There's nothing more to it. Now, I'm going to say something that's going to, might be hard to believe. Okay. <laughs> you can, and Steve alluded to it, and he's telling you uh, the process that can get you here without discussing all the, because it gets into things that um, could flex your brain a little bit. You could live your whole life and be wrong about all kinds of stuff and it'll never be a problem. But in trading, that's just not true. If you're wrong, it's going to let you know. And it's going to let you know pretty fast. And it might just let you know pretty aggressively too. And I started to, uh, to discover, I've discovered a lot of things uh, teaching in the trading room, but um, that you have to be able to discern the difference between past, present, and future. I know it seems like that should be obvious, 
<laughs> but it's not. You could go mark the chart, but you have to be able to see it before it ha before it happens. Yeah, you have to be able to see it and um, and have a vision for it. Yeah. So, Rob, Rob, can I jump in for a second? Absolutely. Um, a professional golfer will never have any success if they have two swing thoughts. <laughs> yeah, boy, is that true? Same thing. <laughs> If you're thinking at all when you're teeing off, yeah, in any shot for that matter, you in trouble. So a trader, this is exactly like golf. We yeah. look at conditions and assess things and make a decision having no idea what the future is going to be. And your brain better be entirely blank when you take the shot. But absolutely, I'm not suggesting that it's blank. I'm suggesting that you're in two times at the same time. Yeah. I love that. No, I love that. Anyway, yeah, yeah sure. we if the if tour player thought what the average player thought they would uh, shoot ninety, if master traders thought like eight different thoughts at one time was something, which a lot of people try, they would get the same results as those people. So when you know Rob says, "Hey, focus," one idea, one thought. Get your mind clear. Do all of these win? Someone asked, do you ever have a loser? Yeah, 92%. We had one that was 100 for two or three weeks. That's unusual. 90%. 90, most of our entries work at a 90% clip to start in our favor, or we don't trade them. So we don't trade them. Uh, Gordon, that uh, 842 could be... But I don't know that Steve's doing them unless they're an exact reaction with the. Uh... Are you only doing exact reactions with the line, Steve? No, just this was after the market opened. No, I mean the one at 842. Gordon's asking about it. By the way, Gordon, good seeing you. Yeah, it is. This one? Yeah. Now, I can tell you right now, you would have had trouble filling that. There's no tail on that bar. You would have had a, yeah. a trouble filling that. So, yeah, Gordon. Um, yeah. Yep. Good eye. Good spot. Um, um, and by the way, just to be clear, Steve is doing these on the reversal bars. There's a whole nother can of worms of looking at <laughs> continuation bars. So, yep. anyways, yeah. So, but that's the pattern. You're reacting, reacting off the line and on uh, the trade. Now, there's all kinds of other trades. So, here's the other interesting, another interesting thing. There are a million things on this chart right here. Yeah, it's good seeing you, Gordon. Um, I There's a million things on this chart right here, and you don't see it. So here's here's what the experience would be like if you do this. I've been doing this. Um, I, I've been uh, trading the same market every single day for 10 years, for five and a half hours, and then in the after hours studying it as well. And then one day what happens is you come into the office and you look at the chart and you see something you never saw before. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Now your third grade teacher taught you that reality is reality. And if you don't get it right, you're going to the office. And Mr. Papinaw, my teacher, he had a bunch of paddles back behind him, collegiate paddles back behind his desk with holes drilled in them. And he'd whack you a good one, send you back to class. Make you hold your ankles. It was terrifying. Yeah. Mr. Papin, I'll never forget that guy. So um, one day you come in, you look at the chart. It's entirely different. Yeah, you see something. Yeah. And they go, well, what, what the heck's that all about? And then he goes, you go study it. You go get trademarkers or whatever. And you go back and you study and you study and you study. Now I got 10 years of charts. Every single one of those days that we traded, I got a, I, uh, I screenshotted all the charts. Yeah. I'll go back and study them. Sure enough, that pattern was there every single day. Never saw it. So you look at the chart, you think you're seeing reality. But unless somebody's pointing it out to you, you know, then, then you see it. And that can greatly accelerate your thing. And particularly so, as Steve's saying, as you focus on one thing. You focus on one thing. You focus on one thing. And that's when other things that are meaningful appears. Uh, one example of that would be uh, you're sitting there watching TV with the, somebody in, you know, that you're close to and they put their hand on your on your wrist and you feel it. But if they leave it there, 
a few minutes later, you don't feel it. Well, what's that all about? If there's nothing change, if there's no change, then you don't perceive, even though there's something there. Yeah. So if you get the one thing, one thing, and Steve's helping you with the process and the master classes and everything else, you get the one thing, then what happens is you'll start seeing other things with respect to the, the first thing. But if you try and learn 43 things all at the same time, or as Steve was alluding, you jump to this system, that system, this thing, that thing, um, then what you're doing is you're training your brain to be a mumbo jumbo. Anybody want to be a mumbo jumbo trader? We give free memberships to the mumbo jumbo trading room and uh, <laughs> just do everything at random. Yeah. So just joking. Yeah. But um, these um, things, both Steve and I have actually come to these things just a little bit at a time. And so uh, we can take years off your learning curve. Yeah. If, if you want to learn. Yeah. If you want to learn. So anyways, those are uh, just a few things. Now, there's another thing that I discovered years ago. And I'll just say this and uh, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And thanks for coming in. By the way, stockindextradingroom.com. If, if, um, if any part of uh, today's presentation vibes with you, that you would like to uh, put yourself on a path like uh, what Steve's talking about. He's a great teacher, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, use coupon code special member at checkout. Yeah, special member at checkout. Now, what was it I was just thinking I was going to sh uh, share with you? I might have lost my train of thought. I didn't want to miss the coupon. Yeah, I think I lost my train of thought. But um, um, we've uh, we've come to where we are uh, with this um, by devoting ourselves to it day after day. And we can take years off your learning curve um, if, if you want to uh, take the time to uh, let us share with you. Both Steve and I um, love sharing our craft. As you can tell, probably we're passionate about about it and we're passionate about sharing. And um, it's not about being right so much as it is uh, giving back. Yeah, I've been doing this since, well, I started with commodities in 94 really and by 1996 or so i was a commodity trading advisor with just massive amounts um uh, under management and um and boy did i not know anything then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really oh yeah. i know i i know I'm, they... I'm firing 100 million dollar trades and i don't have a clue what i'm doing they don't they right yeah, if, you, don't, if you don't believe me, go look at the performance of uh, hedge funds. Yeah, the real performance of hedge funds, not absolutely. Yeah, so. They don't know. No. So, uh, yeah, we'll um, uh, Steve, please send the recording link over when you can. I'll try, Sean. I'll try to get it uh, posted by the morning. Okay. Hey, and okay, and I would like to do this, uh, Jean or Jean. Uh, it's probably Jean, Miss Diamond. Uh, it may not be a miss. Anyway, uh, this is what I would like to ask people to do if you have an interest in this john hey john mr dominique um go to our youtube channel go to youtube search stuck in its trading room subscribe oh, there's a channel and, there too but yeah subscribe and turn on notifications and that way when rob posts it you'll know we put we i try to put stuff once a week but i don't always get that i became a winning trader to have time so i don't I mean, I worked in the beginning because I had to make it work. I don't overwork it now. But please, please go to YouTube. If you like our work, hit like. If you uh, want to get notifications about when we post things, uh, try to do it on a weekly basis, just all five and six and eight minute deals. Uh, go and do that, okay? And that way you don't have to wait we may or may not get it there. We may forget, you know, it may be longer, whatever. We're human and we're really, really, really busy. As you can imagine how crazy busy we are with what we've got going on with this. It's, it's, it's insane. ELF5 pending T25. So. Okay. I'm done. All right.
Um, that's what we got for you guys. Thanks for coming in and giving us an opportunity to share what we're passionate about. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out through the website. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you on the next one.